I'd like to begin by addressing what unfolded in Washington, D.C. this week. What we witnessed was an assault on democracy by violent rioters incited by the current president and other politicians. As shocking, deeply disturbing, and frankly, saddening as that event remains, we've also seen this week that democracy is resilient in America, our closest ally and neighbor. Violence has no place in our societies, and extremists will not succeed in overruling the will of the people. As Canadians, I think we've been all reflecting on our own country, something I spoke with the premiers about last night, about the fact that democracy is not automatic. It takes work every day. About what a real accomplishment it is to maintain a political system in which the losing side gracefully concedes and in which rival political parties between elections work together for the common good. We have this in Canada because Canadians make it possible. Canadians expect debate. Debate in service of all Canadians. Debate that is grounded in a shared acceptance of the facts. In a diverse country, there will always be diverse perspectives, and it is through respect for those differences that we create a stronger Canada. Canadian democracy didn't happen by accident, and it won't continue without work. We must always work to secure our democracy and not give comfort to those who promote things that are not true or give space for hatred or extremism. 